In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a cover for our digital magazine. In part three, we're going to learn how to put our masthead in. To do that, add a new layer. We're going to rename these layers. Let's double click on layer one and call that background model. Let's double click on layer two and call that model, no background. And let's double click on layer three and call it masthead. We're going to now use the rectangle frame tool and apply a frame to the top of the page where we want our masthead to be. I'm making sure mine dips down below the model's head just a bit. You can have it dipping down much further if you want to. I now go to the T for text tool and click in the rectangular frame. I'm going to type the name of my masthead. My masthead is called flipped and the text comes in incredibly small. You can see I have zoomed in so you can see how small it is. Select the T for text tool, highlight the text, go to window, open properties. And here we've got the characters which gives us text and fill and font and sizing. It also enables us to uh, play around with the paragraph. So the first thing I'm going to do while my text is highlighted is click on this align center for the paragraph and it should bring my text into the middle of the page. I'm going to use my shortcut to zoom to the whole page and you can see it's at the top here. Next thing I'm going to do is change my font. So over here in the paragraph panel, we can see the font is here. Uh, the font I'm using is called Playfair, uh, Playfair Display but you can download any fonts that you choose. You should have already decided on a font because you've done work on developing your masthead. I'm going to use Playfair Bold and that will have changed the font style there and I'm also going to change the size. I'm going to start by typing 200 into the frame here. Push enter and there it's come here. You can also work up here in the control panel so any tool I click on the controls at the top change to be specific to that tool. I'm using the T for text, make sure it's selected. You can see I've got the uh, font styles, um, whether they're bold or normal, the sizes, and we're going to play around with a few more things. So making sure that my text is highlighted. This button here is called tracking. And what it does, it spreads the characters further apart, it increases the gap in between each character. So if you find you've got, you really like the size of your uh, font that you've chosen, if you want to spread the characters out a little bit more, increase the size of the tracking. I've gone too large, I need to bring it down, it's gone outside my frame. Or if you want to bring your characters closer together, you can decrease the size of your tracking. I also want to change the color of my font. So again, making sure my font is selected, click on fill over here in the properties panel. And you get some presets, so none, registration. We tend not to use uh, these top two. Paper is white and you've got black and then you've got all the other colors named here. If you want to create your own color, you need to click on this icon here which is, looks like a, a palette, a color palette or a painter's palette. Click on that and it brings up um, a spectrum or a, a gradient if you like. We want to change it to none and then it brings up a range of colors. So I can choose any color from in here. So if I click, for example, in this region here, I've got a color that's been created. I can apply it to the text. It's given me some options here or the frame. I want to stay with text. And if I click on this little hamburger here, I can add it to my swatches. So that means it'll go into this option here and you can see it right down the bottom. Now it comes up with its own numbers here, but if you double click, it opens a dialog box. And if I uncheck here where it says name with color value, I can actually rename it and I can call this masthead color. Click on OK and you can see you've now got a preset color down here. If you wanted to try a few different colors out, you could go back in and do the same thing, making sure your text is highlighted. Click on the palette or the color palette. Click on no color. 
choose another color, go to the hamburger, add to swatches, go back to your swatches, double click on the color down the bottom, uncheck name with color value. I'm going to call this cover lines color, click OK. And if I check in my swatches, scroll down, you can see I've got my two colors that I've set here. So that's the easiest way to change your color for your fonts, uh, for your text or anything else you want to do or make some presets. However, I want to use red for my masthead. Click anywhere in the gray and your palette will pop back in again. Again with the selection tool, click anywhere in the gray and you've got your masthead. The right size, the right width, but not quite in the right position. So I'm going to move it around a little bit. Using the selection tool, the top left tool, I'm going to slowly move it up so it just hits onto the frame that's already existing on my artboard. Um, for fine tuning, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move my masthead around. If I push W on the keyboard, it gives you a preview of what my completed magazine might look like. Push W again. So now I want to go back to my layers. So I can tuck properties back in. And here's layers here, I'm going to pull it out. If layers is not over on your uh, palette bar on the right hand side, remember go to window and tick layers. I want to work with the masthead and I want to make the model go in front of the masthead. And the easiest way to do that is just grab the masthead layer and drag it down below the model no background layer. If you want to move your masthead down a little bit further or up a little bit further, go to the model no background layer, turn the eye off, it's invisible now. Then you can go to your selection tool, select the masthead and you can reposition the masthead wherever you want if it was too high or too low. So I'm just going to bring mine down a little bit more, not quite so much and leave it sitting there. Turn the model no background layer back on again. Click anywhere in the dark grey, hit W and that gives you a preview of your model with her head in front of your masthead. Don't forget to save.